HPDC processes. Though most commonly applied to aluminum alloys, HPDC may be used to cast other non-ferrous metals such as brass, zinc, or magnesium alloys. The defining trait of HPDC is that high pressure air is used to force molten metal into a mold cavity. HPDC is considered a permanent mold casting process, since the molds that make the castings are permanent and can be reused for many cycles. Permanent molds are also referred to as dyes. In contrast to permanent molds, destructible molds are broken up to retrieve the castings. These molds include bonded sand molds, molds made from ceramics, or similar materials. HPDC foundries typically require several pieces of equipment for each step in the process. The melting furnace is required to melt the charged materials and bring the molten metal to the required temperature. The molten metal is then typically poured into a transfer ladle, which can be moved around the foundry as required. After degassing and other processing, the metal is poured into a holding furnace. The holding furnace maintains the molten metal at casting temperatures near the HPDC machine. Most modern HPDC foundries use automated or robotic pouring systems. A precise amount of molten metal is scooped in a pour cup and moved to the machine. The molten metal is poured into what is referred to as a shot sleeve. Driven by air pressure, a plunger forces the molten metal through the shot sleeve and up into the closed molds. The metal is allowed to cool and solidify in the required casting shape. The casting is ejected after solidification and moved on for further processing.